I am Cody Reeder. I live here in uh, Broad Canyon, Utah, in the beautiful Tooele Valley. I have been a beekeeper since I was 10 years old. And today I am starting a series of videos portraying a year uh, of beekeeping. Last week I taught a class about beginning beekeeping and I realized that there's just no way that I can teach everything about being a beekeeper in just a couple hours. And so I'm going to take a camera with me every time I visit my hives over the course of the next year so that the viewers can go along with me and uh, see what it's like being a beekeeper. And uh, there's a bee right here. You can hear him buzzing. It's a warm day. Today, I'm uh, checking on my bees. You can hear them buzzing. Yeah, they're definitely, they broke cluster. So it's, uh, it's late February right now. And uh, these bees, which have overwintered, are just coming out of hibernation. You see, quite a lot of bees here. They're just getting out, cleaning out the hive, stretching their wings. There's no flowers around, so, so they're not going to really, really be foraging or anything. You can see on here, that's uh, basically their their poop. Yeah, they they held it in all year long, all winter long, and uh, now they're coming out of the hive and they're getting rid of it. Let's set the camera down here for a second. All right, so I've taken the lid off the hive. This is a very nice hive. This is a, just some insulation I had, just a towel laying across the top bars. All right, they're definitely broke cluster and they're going into the rest of the hive here. I'm not too worried about getting stung or anything. <laughs> Not at the moment. Looks like they've got uh, 10 frames of honey left. That's, uh, that's about 50 pounds or so. That should be more than enough to keep them over till the flowers start blooming. I'm, uh, I'm going to leave this off. I'm not going to put that back on. It'll help with the ventilation for them. Yeah, these guys are waking up. <laughs> right, I'm going to put the lid back on before they get too nuts. <laughs> hey, there we go. Put the camera right here on this tree. Alright, camera's still recording? Good. Yeah, this is a very good hive. It's chuck full of bees. There. This is how you want to overwinter them. The bigger your hive is, the less honey they eat. Well, actually they do eat more honey, but it's kind of like uh, 
how an elephant eats less uh, food than a mouse for the unit size. A hive like this probably went through 60 pounds of honey just over winter. Whereas a hive half this size would still go through about 50 pounds of honey. So, <laughs> the bigger your hive is, the more honey you save. This hive I'm probably going to split into several more hives. These guys are already thinking of swarming. Here in a couple of weeks, they'll probably be making queen cells and start thinking about uh, making a new hive somewhere else. That's how they reproduce. It's a natural thing that they do. The, the old queen leaves, taking half the hive with her. She finds another cavity somewhere and then and then starts a new hive where this one gets a new queen. <laughs> This gun gets a new queen and it uh, continues on for the next year. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the queen, brush her off into another box, and I'm going to take the swarm artificially so that I can keep the hive. So I don't lose the bees, you know. <laughs> in a couple of weeks I'll probably come in and expect the hive and check for any uh, queen cells. And once I start seeing queen cells, then I'll definitely cause a swarm, or uh, I'll do the swarm. Or pretty much as soon as it gets warm enough, and probably middle of next month, I'll probably I'll uh, I'll go ahead and split this hive. <laughs> Here's some bees that I pulled out earlier. It's just a bunch of dead bees here. You can see the wax bleaches in the sun. <laughs> yeah, these will just go into the soil. <laughs> yeah, this is just one of my hives. I'm going to call this good for now. I'll come back and check on these in a couple of weeks. This is the end of the first episode. Hope it wasn't too boring. <laughs>